Hey, everybody. That we're fine to hear. We're all out of sorts. <laughs> I know that we. I was still thinking about the drink and how to answer Nikki. We say that every week. We're always like, we're so out of sorts. But this week, it's so true. Yeah, it really is. I we have just been running around like crazy in the last ten minutes well, trying to. We had a last minute idea, and we just really didn't have time to to do that. We did. We gave it a valiant effort. We, we had some technical difficulties, so it's okay. our first idea isn't going to work, but we've got a plan B. Yeah. It's just, it'll be fine. So I was in the process of trying to ask Nikki what I'm drinking tonight. Yeah. And I didn't get an answer, so I'm afraid to taste it. Nikki? She left. First of all, instead of complaining about my fingernails, I'm going to complain about my hair. My poor hairdresser, I, I put off getting my hair colored until right before vacation, which is next weekend. And I don't know what that was. Do you? I don't. Okay. So anyway, and he My got. Sister FaceTimed me, but it was an accident. Oh. <laughs> she was at a party. So he is. Uh, gotcha. Not feeling well, and so he can't do my hair. So oh. I, I've tried to cover it up, and I think I've got a little bit. Just right let there. it go. Sorry, <laughs> just let it go. That's all you have to do. Okay. We could be twinsies. Yeah. It'll. It'll. Yeah. Now, how long do you think it would take me to do that? Lord have mercy. I'm not ready. Well, yeah, it takes a long time. I, I'm not ready for that. You have to see. Here's how I did it. My friend Casey, she did it like the natural way. She just let her roots grow out gradually. I, I can't do that. I, it took me a long time. So I transitioned from black. My hair was black like Laura's to like light brown to like really light brown to like blonde. I went all the way to blonde. Do you remember that when I was blonde yes. for a hot minute? Platinum. Yeah. Hi, like, Janice. Like Steven. really blonde. And then from blonde, I let it grow out because it was less noticeable. Yeah. But that was a really major transition. <laughs> oh, Charlotte, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Charlotte. <laughs> but yeah, that was a really long transition. In hindsight, I wish I had done that over COVID because nobody would have noticed. Yeah. You, was, you got that out of the way. That would have been the perfect time to do that. Yeah, if I was going to do it, that would have been the time for me to do mine. But I'm not ready yet. So you're young, so you can pull it off. You're like, you know, it's just like a cool oddity for you. Like, it's, it's, it looks cool on you. It's, it's not going to look cool on me. It's going to, like, age me by about 20 years. I doubt it. <laughs> Danny says, mine took about three years. That's about how long, all in all, it took me to transition mine to. Just about. Mm -hmm. I, it's the best decision I ever made. I love not having to color it, not having to worry about covering my roots up. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. It's real good. Yeah. I am not ready. MB is rocking it. Thanks so much. <laughs> so let's talk about our glasses. We have we have special glasses. Have you seen Angela Marksberry? Um, anybody see Angela? I'm not sure. Yeah, we've been talking. I haven't been looking at the chat. Jenny says it's very freeing. It is. It really is. We had some wonderful friend mail from Angela. We did. Angela sent us some Kentucky Derby glasses. Isn't that nice? Look yeah. Fine. Yeah. So she Cute. sent us four in total. So we are drinking. There she is. Oh, there she is. Hi. Thanks, Angela. We got these in the mail and we are having um, a drink set of <laughs> What happened to your finger? She's got her hair tie on oh. her hand because she, I was trying to straighten her hair and she had it pulled back. <laughs> she was trying to fix something on the computer. I was trying to straighten her hair without burning her and it was not working. It was a real production. I wish mm -hmm. we had it on video. Mm -hmm. I really was. I was trying to figure out my computer thing. I was like, Laura, I don't have time to straighten my hair. And she was like, here, I'll do it. And it was really funny. Mm -hmm. But no, it's, it's not, it's my hair. It's my uh, ponytail holder. Mm -hmm. so. And then Angel also got us this. Look, now we can fix like official drinks. Official drinks of the Fat Bird Fine show. Mm. <sighs> Come on. So this is super cute. I think it's a little bit vintage, Mary Beth. Awesome. But when you think of a bartender's guy, you always think of this one, right? The red and black. Or do you not know about this? I don't know about it. Oh, that's the one I always picture in my head when somebody says, Hi, Warren. I need a bartender book. But see, it's like... Um, Hi, Sugar Bridges. Well, like the first edition way back when was like in 1935. So this has been around for forever. But you can tell this one must, I can't really find the date. 
It's not that important, but this one's vintage -y. It's like probably 70s. So you can tell by the font and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're brand new to flipping and sipping, let me just tell you a little bit about what we're doing here. We do have a, a point, but it's small. So <laughs> we get on here, we chat, we talk about what we're drinking for a few minutes. At 9.15, which is in, is in about 10 minutes, we have some items behind us on my piano back here that we're going to sell. We have a small Christmas theme tonight. Yeah, uh, I, Jeffrey got you guys in the Christmas mood, so we thought that we would continue. You know, yeah, continue that. So we have little. a small Christmas theme happening tonight. Then, also in the Christmas spirit, I have a box of ornaments here. From first glance, it looks like mostly Snoopy, uh, Garfield, and a little bit of like Looney Tunes. It's so great. This is like another one of the, a box from that great auction from a while a while back. Gosh, that was probably six months ago. Yeah, we kept putting the stuff back to make videos with, but then we kept doing fun stuff like uh, resellers meetups and stuff that we wanted to get out the videos for, and so we just never did do the videos. Right. So now we've got to drag that stuff out and look at it. Yeah, so in the Christmas spirit, we're going to go through this box. I'm going to simultaneously look up some of these on eBay. I was going to try to share my screen and do it all up here for you guys, but my computer was messing with me. So I'll just look it up on my phone and you'll have to trust what I tell you. Hi, Katie Garnett. So I don't have any idea what's in here. I know. It's going to be exciting. I can only see what's on top. I think we spent like... I feel like 10 bucks on that box or something yeah. like that. I feel like some of the Snoopy ones will be fun to look up because mm -hmm. I feel like those are probably collectible yeah. in some sort. Yeah. And the auction that we got this at, I mean, everything there was vintage. So I, ex I suspect that all of those will be pretty vintage as well. Okay. I just want to show one more thing. Cause this is really cute. Like in the back of this book, cause we're always talking about barware and you know, stuff like that. People buying these little, these cool mid century items for their bar. Look at this cool picture in this book. Oh, that's cool. And it talks about what each, you know, barware piece is and what it does. Like, you know, an ice bucket and the different kinds of stems, like, Cordial, Brandy, Pilsner, all that different kind of stuff. Isn't that cute? That is awesome. I love it. Good job. Gabrielle made it home safely to Ontario. Oh, very nice. She stopped at mom's store. Yeah, I know. I know. It's so much fun. Yeah, we showed the stuff last week. Gabrielle, were you with us last week when we showed I think the so. stuff that you left for us? I think so. So cute. Awesome. Let's see. Oh, I think I was going to say something else. Oh, guess what I did today. I, poster of that. I know, me too. Isn't it cute? Guess what I did today. What? I listed stuff on eBay. Ah. Oh, can you believe it? Good for you. I'm telling you. I think there's going to be stuff in this box you're going to want to list on eBay. You think so? And it's so, e ornaments are easy to list. Have you gone through this box? No, but I've looked in the top of it. <laughs> well, I looked in the top of it too, but it just looks like a bunch of Garfield. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to say garbage. No, I have to show, so I listed like seven things today on eBay. I know that's not a big deal to probably <laughs> anybody else but me because I've been trying to list all summer long and I just haven't. So I listed seven things today. One of my favorite of which is this really pretty dark green and poly. So if you're interested in that, you can check out our eBay store. We only have about 50 to 60 things listed right now, but I'm, I'm working on it. Okay, and then while we're showing stuff, I think that we should show a Max picture. I see Katie on there. Hi, Katie. Hey, Katie. Katie got a new car today. Katie and Luke did. Really? Yeah, they did. They, new they got a car, new, new baby? I know. They got a new car for the new baby and all the paraphernalia. There's no way to fit that in a regular car. Awesome. <laughs> You keep talking because i got to find this picture. Sugar Bridges is like, can we bid on the box of ornaments? Ah, oh, wouldn't that be fun? That would be fun. But, alas, <coughs> I can't do that. I mean, what if there's like a billion dollars in the bottom? <laughs> oh, you're so funny. What if there's like $100 bills in the bottom? This was a really good auction. I, I feel like every box that we've opened has had something good in it. Nettie, I listed my very first item on eBay today. Hey. Nice. That's a huge milestone. Good job, Nettie. That is awesome. What kind of car did they get? It was a, hmm, Katie, put it in the chat. It was, I know it's a Hyundai, and it's like an SUV kind of thing, and I forgot what the model was. It looks like the RAV kind of. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hi, Pamela. So here... <laughs> 
<laughs> Baby Max, his first outing, they went to Culver's to eat. And, well, I mean, besides the doctor. Went to Culver's to eat, and then they had to go to Walmart, and they were afraid at Walmart, but he loved it. <coughs> he loved Walmart? Yeah, he loved it. Katie said his eyes lit up the minute they walked in there. Look. Oh, he's having a big time. She said, I think he's just bored of us at home. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? Hey, Michelle. Michelle. And then, let me, one more. Here's Aww. baby Max with his sister, Ginger. <laughs> oh. Aww. Look how big he is. That's like a three to six month outfit. What a sweetie. Ginger's taking care of him. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? What goes with mac and cheese? Chardonnay or Cabernet? I'm going to go cab with your mac and cheese. What pasta? do you think? What do you think, Red Nikki? Red pasta? It is, isn't it? Although I Chardonnay like or cab with mac and cheese? Chardonnay. Nikki thinks Chardonnay. I'm going to go with the cab, a good cab on that. It's just my opinion. What do I know? Nothing. Also, um, current event-wise in the community, Michelle's going to have a class on junk journaling. Yeah. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Guess who's going to do it? Me. Stop it. I'm going to do it. You are ridiculous. <laughs> There's no way you're doing that. Why? Michelle, Michelle, is she doing that? I'm doing it. I'm in. You're just making fun of me because I want to do it. Maybe I want to do it. Oh, God. Are we going to be in the same session? Well, yeah. Oh, my God. I, I'll be embarrassed. For me? Yeah. No, for me. For myself. Like, next to your artistic ability. No, I think you're saying that you're going to be embarrassed of me. <laughs> I'm doing it. I, I told Michelle. Uh, I told Michelle the other day. I was like, I'm in. I'm doing it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. She's like, it's true. And look how many LOLs she put. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, my God. We're going to have Ruth in. So, yeah, if you're not aware, you need to check out Michelle's video that she put out last week. She is talking about her junk journaling sessions that she's going to do. She has, like, the instructions. She has what you have to do and when the sessions are. And I don't how, know if they're sold out or not. And how much the sessions are. They're going to be on Zoom. So, yeah, go check out Michelle's video from last week. Um, yeah. And what else? I was going to say one more thing about it. Um, oh, you definitely have to do your, use your Ruth Ann stuff. What? You have to use your Ruth Ann ephemera that, that, that you got as friend mail. Oh yeah. To yeah. do the junk with this, with Michelle. Oh yeah. I'm in. Cause if not, you're not ever going to do it. Yeah. One session starts <laughs> Sunday and one starts Tuesday. I'll probably, I think your Sunday ones are in the in the morning slash afternoon. So I'll have to do the Tuesday ones. <sighs> yeah. All right. I'm excited. I'm pretty what excited. What sessions are you going to do? Well, whichever one you're doing. Oh. I guess I should have kept my spot. <laughs> She's, it's probably, I guess, now going to be wherever I can fit. Do I have to supply my own journal? I'll help you out. You will? Mm -hmm. You'll get me a journal? Well, Michelle's, yeah, I'll get you one. Do I have to have a specific kind of journal? No. Just any journal? It's junk do? journaling. You can turn like a, ma a magazine or something like that into a journal. Oh. So I don't have to have like a blank sketchbook? No. But what if I want to have a blank sketchbook? <laughs> well, I mean, you are you make the journal. That's kind of part of the whole process. You make the pages. You can either start out with pages already and glue on there, or you can make your own pages. How are you all copying names to say hi? I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? Hi, Melinda. I don't know what that hi, means. Hi, Melinda. Does she mean like, um, how? Are, what are we clicking on to make them go on the screen? I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe she means that. Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, go check out Michelle's. I'm seeing some questions. So, go <laughs> check out Michelle's video. She explains everything that you need to know in her video that she posted last week. Does MB have any idea what she's getting into? No. No, I have no idea what I'm going to do. <coughs> and, and like, it's totally up. Michelle's just telling you, it's totally up to you. If you want to do a blank sketchbook and start out that way, you can. 
Okay. That's probably the best for you. Yeah. Because that kind of inspires you. I like blank paper. It Blank paper intimidates me, but it kind of inspires mm. you. So I think you should go for it. It's my favorite thing. Blank yeah. paper. I know. <laughs> blank paper and Sharpies are like two of my favorite things in the world. Oh, somebody's helping Melinda out. Oh. You do the at sign for people's names to like highlight it in the. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. But it doesn't work on your phone. Yeah, I can't get it to work on my phone either. But anyway, okay. Okay, it's almost 9.15. And we have some cool stuff tonight. We have some fun. We, we tried did. We tried to, do, to go Christmas themed a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's exciting. So, <laughs> here we go. Okay, I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. We have one, two, three, four mystery boxes tonight. Yeah. And two regular items. Yep. So, yep. for our regular items, we have two regular items and four mystery boxes, okay? So, for our regular items, they're going to be just like any other um, live sale that you've probably been to. So, those um, two regular items will have a price and an item number, right? Yes. If you are the first person to type the item number into the chat, then you will win the opportunity to purchase the item. If you do... Uh, win an item tonight. We're going to need three pieces of information from you. We're going to need your name along with your YouTube name. We're going to need your mailing address and your PayPal email address. And you can send all of that to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Um, if you feel like you might be behind in the chat, you might be buffering or lagging or whatever, you can go out of the video and come back in to uh, stay up on, on speed with us. Um, Make sure that you're in live chat and not top chat. That will also make you see uh, the items or the comments better. Now, we're streaming to Facebook as well. I haven't seen a lot of people comment from Facebook yet, but um, we have to go by how we see the chat on our end. So it includes sometimes Facebook people that you guys do not see. Now for the mystery boxes, we do our mystery boxes just a little bit differently. For our mystery boxes, we will give the mystery boxes a price, and then we will give the mystery box an item number. If you're interested in purchasing the mystery box, we'll ask that you put the item number of the item or of the mystery box in the chat, into the chat once, and then we'll draw like a random number to see who can win or who can purchase that mystery box. It's fun. I was think. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say we'll do our two regular items first, and then we'll do the four mystery boxes. That sounds like a great idea. Thanks. I think that maybe tonight, since we have more than one mystery box, maybe one of the mystery boxes we can say, uh, let everybody play that has never got one before. Oh. How would that be? How would we, like... Oh, thanks, Melinda. She likes my shirt. How how would we monitor that? We can't. We can't. On our system. On our system. <laughs> anyway, y'all think about that. We'll think about that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do our first, our two regular items first. Oh. oh no, the intro. The intro? Come Man, on. I am not with it tonight. I'm telling you. I'm sorry, but here we go. All right. Breaking news. This just in. They freed the riverboat, the American <gasps> yes. Jazz. Oh my gosh. I wonder if anybody has seen that on their local news. I don't know, but it's so great. So Here's what's happened. So we have a big lake, Kentucky Lake, here in our area, and a riverboat. I want. Do you know know where it came from? American Jazz. I'm not sure where it came from. From, from Memphis. Memphis. To Nashville. It was going from Memphis to Nashville, mm -hmm. and for some reason, it came up through Kentucky. Okay, to Kentucky Lake, and it got stuck in Kentucky Lake. Like the the driver, the driver, the captain went up over a sandbar. And it was stuck on Kentucky Lake for like ever. <laughs> there was like 200 people on this on this riverboat. <laughs> and anyway, it got stuck on Kentucky Lake on this sandbar for a week. And it's just been all over the news. I mean, they have like a drone out there with live footage. And it's just ridiculous. So, <laughs> the Coast Guard has been out there. Yeah, the Coast Guard has been out there. Anyway, Jamie, it finally, that's enough out of you. They <laughs> didn't make the news out there. So they they got a boat out there and evacuated all the passengers and took them to Nashville. And then the boat has still been out there stuck. They just finally got it freed today. 
Yeah, I bet those passengers were thrilled. I, I bet know. they were. It's so great. I'm sure it was a lot of old people. Well, they got the pa- yeah, they got the passengers off, but the cruise bill there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Our first item is Oh yeah, everybody's okay, Nancy. I yeah, think. they're fine. They're all good. Okay, so our first item is a set of these little three elves. Christmas elves. Little Santa's helpers. Yeah. So these are all home coal. Focus for me, camera. Oh, oh, there we go. It's working on it. Hey. There we go. So they're all home co, and they're like that little bisque feeling, guys. So they're just three little elves. Yeah, and these are kind of the little baby-looking elves. Like, these are – the other ones we have are Santa-looking with the beards, but these look like little babies. So they're little Santa's helpers. Santa's helpers. And there's uh, three in the set. And it's $15 for the set. $15. And it's number 28. So $15, number 28 on the little elves, the little trio. Cute. Don't forget the earthquakes. Mm. Everybody's talking about what's in the news. I know, like a lot of crazy stuff in the news, isn't it? <laughs> Who do you have? Um, Lisa Day. Me too. Mm -hmm. Okay, we all have Lisa Day here. Yep. Thanks, Lisa Day. Thanks, Lisa. You got it. You got it. Okay, and these little guys are super cute too. Also, Home Co. Yeah, these are also Home Co. So this is the next item. This is a set of two. So here we only have two. They have a little bit of a different look about them, and they are like a combination of bisque and shiny paint, just so you know. Oh, yeah, his hat's shiny. The red hat and the, his, the, all the red is shiny, so the pants and the hat. Yeah, so these are Homeco as well. He's got a little train. Isn't that cute? These guys look a little bit older. So the ones before, they looked more like babies. They didn't have beards. So these, these little elves have beards. So wouldn't they be cute, like, for, you know, if you have a reader in your family like I do, or if you have somebody that loves trains, either way, that'd be so cute. Just like a little cute little extra gift for my Christmas. Yeah. Gnomish elves. Yeah, they do look like gnomes, kind okay. of. Don't they? Yes. Okay. So they're a little bit bigger, so they are um, $18 for the two of them. $18 for the pair. And it's number 40. Four zero. Yes. So $18, number 40 for this pair of little guys. Oh, reading the naughty and nice list. That's cute. Those go with my murder elf. What's yeah, your murder have, elf? Hey, we have a murder elf too. Do we? Yeah. You want me to show him real quick? Yeah. <laughs> what was the number? 40. 40. 40. Yeah, we had a few more of those, and I didn't know uh, if you guys would like them or not. So Yeah, those don't exactly go with him. They're just a little bit of a different style, but, yeah, it looks like he's holding a knife to this baby doll. <laughs> Is that him, Jamie? Yeah, that's we talked about him when she was here. Oh, did you really? Yeah, oh, she good. saw him? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know she saw him. <sighs> so at least today got that one, too. Nice. Very nice. So who got that? They're like, yes. Lisa Day. Lisa Day got that one too? I feel like now you need to sell that one. <laughs> Does anybody want to buy the murder elf? Do we want? Yeah, we can sell him separate. <laughs> it's a hostage situation. L.E.A. You received your Fat Bird Finds package today. Yay! Ellie, I'm so sorry we had all those um, email issues. It was, might have been my fault. So I, I apologize for that, but I'm so glad you got it already. You had that really cute little vintage travel set. It was so cute, the pink. Okay, so we're going to sell one more elf. <laughs> this is Murder Elf. Yep. So, I mean, if the pair was 18 then, I mean, the one can just be $10, right? Yeah, so I mean, it looks like he has a knife to this baby, but maybe it really maybe it's just like a tool. Maybe he's putting her together. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there you go. I'll put him at the top. Okay. And how much is he? Um, 
Ten dollars. Ten dollars for Murder Elf. Murder <laughs> Elf. <laughs> He's number twenty-three. Number twenty-three. Ten dollars. Number twenty-three. <laughs> oh my gosh! Everybody wanted him. <laughs> Who do you have? Nettie. Yeah, me too. Nettie. <laughs> Thanks, Nettie. Thanks, Nettie. Nettie, congratulations on the eBay thing again. That's really great. Yeah. It's a big milestone. I think so. I remember when we put our first stuff on eBay. I was super excited. All right. Thanks, everybody. My mom, don't say murder. Oh. <laughs> okay, mom. Oh, that's pretty great. <laughs> All right. Michelle said, I need an assistant who will work for free and get me Starbucks. And then somebody said, and do your hair. <laughs> okay, so we have, Michelle, I figure you have a lot of takers if, you know, you had the people in your area. Yeah. So we have oh, ice maker. Ice. We were out of ice. <laughs> okay, so we have three mystery boxes now coming up. Isn't that fun? We actually have four, but these three are going to be Christmas themed. This, these are going to be a challenge because, look, just full disclosure, they're little. You see that? Yeah, they're these thin. two are little, and then this one's bigger. It's a and little Snoopy milk bone Christmas. I think that's really cute. I love that one just for the box itself. Yeah. But anyway, these... So these two are small, and then this one's bigger. So let's do the small ones first. Then at the and then, of course, we'll have one more. We have one more at, at the, the end. end. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's do this one first. All right. Let's do. Wait. How much is it? These two are going to be the regular fifteen dollars each. Okay. So these two. Are, let's just do one at a time. Though. Okay. You need to get your number ready. So as a reminder, here's how we do our mystery boxes. Okay. Okay. Me? Yeah. Yes. Here's how we do our mystery <laughs> boxes. So this is going to be fifteen dollars. And if you're interested in purchasing, we're going to give you an item number in just a moment. If you're interested in buying, we're going to ask that you type the item number into the chat, please, only once. And then we will spin a random number between one and however many people are interested. Yeah. They want to know what Christmas items are in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, these three that we're getting ready to do are going to have some Christmas items in them. Yeah, it's just I'm not I'm just not gonna promise that every single thing in there is gonna be Christmas related. It's just like however it pans out because I've got to put what fits in there. Right. I do have some Christmas ephemera though that yeah. will fit. Yeah. So So there you go. <laughs> Again. And I'm sure and I've got some little bitty oh my gosh, if I could can I show a peek? Okay. Little bitty Christmas ornaments. Yeah, like the little bitty You know, tiny the ones. little bitty wood ones that are so cute. Don't give a peek. <laughs> just let them Okay. Yeah. Okay. So again, $15. Some of the items will be Christmas. Probably not all of them. Here's a look at what this one looks like. That little guy. So yeah. Now we're going to do it the same way, the, the way we've been doing it with Carrie at KCATX is going to put in uh, stop. stop. Yeah. And that's what we're going to count to. Yeah. Okay. Yep. As soon as as soon as you see it kind of slowing down, sure. she's gonna put in stop. Okay. So, so you guys, you know, go ahead and put it in there. <laughs> Fifteen dollars. Please only type the item number in once, and it's number. It's so exciting. Is this an all play? Yeah. This is everybody. This is an all play. Oh my gosh. What's the number? <laughs> Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. <laughs> Do you have your spinner ready? No. Number thirty-seven. Do I ever have it ready? <laughs> Okay. Okay. There they go. All right. Miss Carrie, I'm going to let you type stop in five, four, three. Good idea. Two, one, and stop. And as soon as I see that she's done that, I will start to count. Yeah, we're just waiting to see the stop. That's quite a that's a pretty good delay there. It's like ten seconds or so. Yep. Did you did you see it already? Yeah. 
Okay, so you guys um, go pour, refill your drinks or whatever. We're going to start to count. Okay, 38. Awesome. They think you have, somebody thinks you have lint on your shirt. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not. I think it's meant to be like blood spatters. <laughs> if it's me, it probably is lint. Because mine is like really dark navy, but I don't think they're talking your, about me. The, your spots on your shirt are going to show up really good. Yeah. <laughs> I think blood spatter is better than lint. <laughs> okay, so do I push, I push done, right? Yeah, and, and then, then restart. restart. Yep. Okay, and don't forget, you guys. We have to go with how it shows up on StreamYard on our end, so please don't, don't come at us. Don't count, count along because it's not going to be the same as yours, right. probably, but all three of us are counting. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so here we go. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble. Oh, oh five. five. <sighs> okay. So let's start at the top here. You ready? Yep. All right. And one. Two, three, four, five. Right? That's what I see. I have I love vintage sixty-six. I love vintage sixty-six. Oh, I love vintage sixty-six. I bet you were born in sixty-six. I was two, and so was Michelle. So don't come at us if it's different on your end. Because we have to go with how we see it on our end. Just FYI. All right. Yay! Okay, oh, we have, I'm supposed to write that down. Yeah, you are. Okay, so we have another one. Yay! Again, same price. It's kind of the same kind of kind of tin. But look at him! Look how cute he is. Yeah, it's very similar. Same size, same rules. Oh, by the way, these are very. These are not crusty. Crusty and these are very nice. So you could you could re-gift those. Hi Marion from Facebook. Welcome. Okay, so now gonna, this one. Now this one. Since it's pretty much like the previous one. Yeah. I think this one should be for mystery box virgins only. <gasps> virgins only. <laughs> That's what somebody said. Okay, so you can only <laughs> You can only type in the number if you've never won a mystery box from us before. <laughs> Vintage and Vino. Hey, it's empty. Vintage and Vino is the one that said mystery box virgins. It won't be empty. I'm just showing you. <laughs> I promise. So we can't, obviously we can't police this because I don't remember who's won one and who hasn't. So honor system. Yeah. <laughs> honor system. So again, totally honor system. Don't come at us if... We get this wrong. Yeah, don't fight amongst yourselves. Just do the best you can do. Be like Ruth Ann and just do your best. Just, just go with it. We'll just let the people play that have not won one yet. Okay, what's the number on this one? All right. So the, it's $15 plus shipping. What's the number? And this the one? number, yeah. So $15 and number 42. Number 42. Please only type that in once. And Carrie's going to help us here in just a second. Number 42. Carrie. Virgins only. Carrie, I've got a list of winners going back for a whole year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of you that's never got one yet. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, Carrie, let's type stop in five, four, three, two, one and stop. Awesome. Okay, so let's go back. You already see stop? Yep. Oh. Oh. Well, we don't have much of a lag at all then, really. I saw it on my phone. Oh, you're on your phone. Yeah. All right. You re Okay, ready to count? One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, Can ten, you please put the 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You're so nine, serious. 20, you're all 20, business. 20, 20, 20, 20, 25. I need you to play with me. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to. Jamie at Mid-Century Wasted. I'm a mystery box slut. <laughs> I think I said 36. You did. You did. You did. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. 36, Laura. Okay. I'm almost there. Oh Isn't that working? <laughs> Isn't that working? Oh Don't take that away from me. I can do it. Gosh, we're we're not running a race here. We're we're every, it's fine. <laughs> okay, thirty six. Did you restart it already? I did. Why did you do that? You throw me off if you're doing it for me. Okay. Here we go. It's exciting. <gasps> twenty three. Twenty three. Okay. All right, you want to count with me? Again, don't come at us because <laughs> we have a list here. Mary Beth is scared. I know. I don't like for people to be mad at Ruth me. Ruth doing her best. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. It's num how, What number was it? 23. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Where's your spinner? Right there. Yeah, 23. All right, here, I'll show it again so everybody believes this because <laughs> it was kind of a busy. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Is that right? That's it. Larry Riley. Yay! Larry Riley is the one that sent us that awesome friend mail. I know. And so so that makes me very happy for I him know. to win. Larry Riley. Yay! Good job, everybody. Awesome. Uh-oh, we went out of focus there for a little bit. It there it is. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right. So this is going to be an all play. Everybody can play here <laughs> for this one. Yep. This one's going to be a little bit more because it's a it's a larger box than the other two. Okay? Yep. So this is a Snoopy Milk Bone flavor snacks for your pups. <laughs> but he's really cute there, and he's holding the little snacks phone and it has a year on it somewhere 1996 just fyi just so you yeah. know so it's not can we show the inside it's not like yucky or anything it's in a there. little dusty <laughs> just a little dusty all right so again this one this one's gonna be how much $25 $25 and we're gonna fill this up some of it's gonna be Christmas some of it won't be and I'm yeah, but there's, I'm sure, there's going to be plenty of Christmas in that one. Yeah, plenty of Christmas in, in here. Just not every single piece. Maybe. And and everybody can play on this one. Awesome. Okay. My first was born that year. Very nice. All right, $20. <laughs> oh, the chat's so funny. <laughs> $20 and it's number? 51. 51. Number 51. You're not reading my notes. Are you writing me notes? <laughs> yes. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Carrie, let's count it down. Five, four, Three, two, one, and stop. Woo! <laughs> Carrie, you're so good at this. Carrie's awesome. <laughs> Carrie's good at everything. Mm -hmm. I don't see it yet, though. Yeah, I do. On here, oh, you saw it on yeah. there first. Wow. Okay. So it's a lot of people on this one. All right, go refill your drinks. This is going to take a minute. Yes, the Auntie Christy was four, listening five. to me. <laughs> Yep. 46. That's what I got. Don't come at us again. We're doing our best. Doing our best, the best that we can do. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my God, you just made a song. I have to sing that every time. <laughs> did you do it? I did. Okay. Here we go. Spin. Spin to win. Oh, good. It's a long one. 37. 37. <laughs> All right, Laura, we got to count closely. Will it have dog treats in it? No. It won't. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, let's count with me. Uh huh. 37, correct? Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Yes. Right? Yes. Miss Pamela. <gasps> Miss Pamela. Oh, my God. That's so exciting. Yay. Miss Pamela, you oh, did it. Oh, how fun is that? That's awesome. Good job, Miss Pamela. Miss Pamela's about the nicest person that I've met in a long time. Yeah. So, awesome. Yay. I'm just honored that you want one, Miss Pamela. That's so sweet. Yes. Awesome. Very nice. <laughs> okay. So that really concluded the Fat Bird Five because yes. it was, well, we added. Murder. We added the murder elf. We added murder elf. So, so it wasn't. It was still six. five ish. <laughs> so this is the bonus. Okay. It's not an elephant this time. It's not an elephant this time. But. It is another mystery box. Miss Pamela, can you put her on really quick before you keep, before we lose it? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I've been trying to win one of y'all's mystery boxes for a year. Yay. Good job, Miss Pamela. Nice. Okay, so this is a, another mystery box, but this one is special. It is not a Christmas mystery box. It is one of our regular mystery boxes, but it's been sponsored. That's so nice. Anonymously. Somebody's tried to, uh, has decided to pay it forward. Yes. And would not like to be named. I totally get that. So that is super sweet. Yes. And it's just a gift. Yeah. This to, is a, to the community. This is a gift. It's a, it's anonymously been sponsored. So in order to win, all you have to do is type in the item number here in a moment. Um, we'll fill it up with goodies. Yep. We'll ship it to you. So if you do win it, we do need for you to send us your information, but this is a sponsored gift. And I will say one thing. If you're overseas, if you would still like to play, you can, but you would pay the shipping. Yeah. The, the box would be sponsored and you would pay the shipping. That's correct. If you are domestic, um, we're going to, we're going to, usually we take care of the shipping and, yeah. the, and the sponsor takes care of the box yeah. or whatever. That's so. what we do. Yay. So yeah, if you're if you're within the United States, you don't have to pay anything. This is just a freebie mystery box. Yep. Awesome. So exciting. Okay. <laughs> but yes, if you are um, one of our international friends, if you would like to play, you may play, but we can't pay international shipping. So. Correct. Okay. But you can you can pay it if you want. So. Are you ready? Yes. <gasps> Again. Please only type that item number in there once. And since it's a bonus mystery box, you might be able to guess maybe one of the items that might be in it. Since What's it, in it? Since it's in the bonus position. What I don't is know. It? I'm just saying. I don't know. Something that might be a bonus sometime on our channel. An elephant. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Okay. okay. You ready? Yep. All right. Here we go. If you're interested in winning the mystery box, you need to type in the number 65. 65. 65. Money. <laughs> 65. There's probably going to be a lot. So you might want to call it sooner than you normally would. So go ahead and get those numbers in there. Yep. But I like the countdown though. Give them, give them their last little bit to get them in there. Yep. All right, Carrie, here we go in five, four, <laughs> three, two, two. three. <laughs> One and stop. Bridget Bunny, what a cute name. Okay, I see Carrie stop. Mm -hmm, me too. Okay, so again, go refill your drinks. You guys are <laughs> drinking a lot if you're refilling every time because this is going to be a lot to count. But come back because you're not going to want to miss our content. It's good tonight. Oh, yeah, we've got good content. It's, it's fun, it's Christmassy. 
You just talk for a minute while I count all these. Oh, you're just going to count yourself. You're tired of letting me count with well, you. Well, no, I'm just going to count the total. I'll let you help me count the real one. I got you. I understand. So it's so exciting to have all the new people and to have the new uh, mystery box winners. I think that that's going to be a regular thing. When we have more than one mystery box, I think we'll have one that is not an all play, one that's just someone who's never won one before. So I think that's fun. That's a great idea. Don't you think that's a great idea? I'm used to talking to you. <laughs> not to hear. You guys that do this by yourself, it's kind of challenging. <laughs> Isn't it? Okay. So, are you still counting? Holy smokes. I think, I'm just thinking. I think we have 78. Wow. That's like our record. Yeah. I was just thinking that, um, I was trying to think of the way to say this community instead of saying this community. <laughs> so, you creatives out there, I think we need to come up with a name for our community. I think it's past time. So what? You, you like gotta, a code name? <laughs> yeah. Like a superhero name? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some kind of fun name to refer to the community. Because the community sounds like, I don't know, a cult or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need a fun way to refer to all of us. Here, do your, and our do your spinner. I think I count it 78. Okay, sorry. Again, don't well, I was just getting in the mode of talking. Don't come at me because I'm doing my very best. And it's going to look different on my screen than it is on yours. I can't help it. I love everybody. <laughs> oh, we love this community or whatever we're going to call it. Oh, my God. I've got it. Don't look at me. <laughs> she gets all upset when she looks over this way. Oh, that's a bunch of numbers. That's a lot. Oh, boy. If this is like ridiculous, I'm going <laughs> to. Okay. Just, just go for it. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. 22. 22. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to start. 22. Okay. Right? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna start here, right? Okay. Ready? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, mm -hmm. twenty-one, twenty-two. Is that right? I think that's right. Catherine Young. <laughs> I'm just laughing because this you can tell this is not fixed at all because Catherine won one before. Yeah. That was sponsored. I think so. <laughs> I think you're right. I think she did. Catherine, you've got some good karma coming your way, girlfriend. Catherine, go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> oh, so funny. Okay, so awesome. We, Congratulations. So again, if you were a brand new winner with us tonight, and if we don't have your information, make sure you send it to us. We need your YouTube name along with your real name. We need your mailing address and your PayPal email address. I think I recognize maybe everybody except one person who purchased from us tonight. So if you've never bought from us before or you're not sure if we have your information. Oh, I fell down on my job. I was not writing this down. <laughs> God, Laura, Laura bless America. Down. I think I can remember. So. Oh, wait. Catherine is so sweet. Look how sweet Catherine is. What? Can you send it to Grandma 211? She just missed the cutoff. Oh. Well, Catherine, aren't you just the sweetest thing? Isn't that sweet? Has Grandma 211 purchased from us before? Yes. Okay. But here's the thing. I did not write down who won the number 42, Mr. We can, go back. we can go back and watch it. Oh, wait. The 42 was the virgin box. That was Larry Riley. The Snoopy box. Who won the Snoopy box? Catherine is just the sweetest thing. I don't remember who won the Snoopy box. No, it was Miss Pamela. Yeah, that's right. Good yeah. grief. Okay, I got it all now. Yeah. Got like, it all down. I feel like I should cut you off instead of giving you another one. No, I need another one. It's good. <laughs> We got it. We got it now. We are straight. Good job. Grandma 211, 
do need you to email us though because for the life of me I can't think of your real name. I yeah. know it's not Grandma Two Eleven. So Grandma Two Eleven, send just resend us your information that way we make sure we'll make sure that we have it. Zeno. Hey Zeno. And thank you again to our sponsor. Our sponsor is in the chat tonight, so thank you so much. We appreciate it very much. Very much a part of our community all the time in the chats and stuff. So awesome. Yes. So much fun. Love it. And if you would ever like to sponsor a mystery box, you can just send us an email. We'll make that happen. Okay. It's always fun to give back. Like Auntie Christy, I knew she would be the first one to jump on the challenge of naming the community. She's oh, yeah. talking about naming it the flock. And so everybody's doing like, you can do meet the flockers, you know, and that kind of thing. <laughs> That's oh, funny. That's so funny. funny. I, I like really it. like it. I kind of like it. So just, I know I keep throwing them out there. People. I know a lot of you guys um, go to bed and and sign off of here after the sale. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you for watching. And you know, if you want to stay, please stay because we're going to go through some ornaments, which will be for sale most likely upcoming. Yeah. So yeah, either on our eBay channel or in eBay, a store. eBay store. We don't have an eBay channel. This is true. <laughs> You're absolutely right. How much have you been drinking? No, not any. Before that one. Hmm. Yeah, I was kind of fumbling over my words earlier. I think I'm just like out of sorts today. Book says, Zeno, thank God you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's funny. It's like, we uh, need Zeno's help here. Okay, so here's my idea. <laughs> be funny. I think if some of these look old, I think maybe we can just like look them up. Yes, we were going to try to do that with you guys on screen, but we're not set up correctly. We will be in the future. We'll figure it out. But. Now, um, if you see any of these that you like, we'll just get that out of the way. If you see any of these that you like, um, send us an email. Like maybe you can like just try to describe it the best you can because I'm going to guess that a lot of these are Snoopy and they're all going to look pretty similar. So try to describe it the best you can if you're interested and we'll shoot you back a price. Um, I have no idea what's in here. No clue. No, I mean, we can, just, we can see what's in the top of the box. Yeah, um, it's in the top of the box, it looks like a bunch of Garfield, a few Snoopies, and a, a couple Looney Tunes. So. I'm, and I'm, I'm banking on the, I mean, I think we should look up the Snoopies for sure, because you know Snoopy's collectible. Thank and like, so for example, this one says like 1995. I'm not gonna look that up. So I'm going to say that the 90s ones conservatively are worth around 8 to $10, maybe, maybe, right. maybe less. Right. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to start. Screenshot the item. What a great idea. <gasps> good idea. Yeah, if you're interested, you can take a screenshot. Very good idea. But yeah, so um, <coughs> and like she said, I know a lot of people leave after the sale. I was just going to say, this is sort of like part of the sale because you can always email us and ask about buying any of the items. Yeah. So. Okay, so this one is Garfield. <laughs> it says 1995 on his wing right there, and he's playing a trumpet. What's funny? Carrie, of you course. You should make I, everyone draw a picture of the one they want. And then you have to guess who gets the lobster. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Oh. Uh, <laughs> great idea. Okay, Garfield, angel, trumpet. Stacy says, oh, my God, I had him back in the day. Awesome. I'm sure like some of the, yeah, some of these will be sentimental. Yeah. Okay. So this one says, uh, Time Warner 1995 Hallmark. And this is Sil Sylvester. Is that right? Yeah. And he's standing on some presents. Well, you know, the Tweety, did you see that Tweety bird over there on the top? Yeah. I feel like that is supposed to go with him, I bet. Because you know how they'll have little there's sets two. of... There's two. There's two Tweety birds. So you know how there's little sets of ornaments that have two? There's, but, like, he's always reaching for Tweety in the cage. Right. So there's that Tweety, and then there's this Tweety who's on, like, a little perch. Yeah. Like, I think they probably are supposed to hang on the tree next to each other. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so here's a Garfield one that's broken. It's Sylvester. He's so cute. He has a lisp. Oh, this one's broken. It's got like a little bird in there, and that's Garfield, but his tail has been taped off and his leg is missing. So that one's broken. Here, I think I should be in charge of holding the stuff because you're going to have to start looking a few of these up. Oh, okay. And you're faster than I am. This is Daffy, 1994. 
as an angel. Oh, look at him. Give you time, guys, time to take screenshots if needed. Oh, this is cute. This is Garfield, and he's, like, dressed as, like, Ebenezer or something. <laughs> right? Let's Did you see. used to watch Garfield? Yeah. The print is too small to see a year on him, but he's cute. And then Garfield the Nutcracker. Okay. Has anybody looked any of the Garfields up yet? Auntie Christy, if there's a Daisy Duck, I'm emailing you. Yeah, I don't know what's in here. We have no idea. Okay, here is Snoopy's friend. What's his name with the whiskers? Did you Spike? Is it Spike? Spike. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is 1980. I'm gonna look that one up. I'm gonna okay. let you hold it. Wait, let's just. You can look both of them up because there's one another one just like those it. are ceramic. Most of the ones we've picked up so far are just plastic. So these are ceramic. So I yeah, I feel like these will be a little bit more than just the regular Spike, little plasticky. Peanut uh ornament. They're saying Woodstock is his name. Yeah, Woodstock's the little bird bike peanuts ornament. He has a hat on. I'll put hat and ceramic. And I think it said 1980. Look at his little eyes. And he I'm gonna mischievous. I'm gonna go to Solds. It's his cousin. Oh, oh or look, his brother Spike. Oh look, if we have Spike the Elf. Wait, look. Okay. If we have Spike the Elf, he sold for forty dollars recently. Forty. Yeah, but that's the Elf. Here's the one we have. <sighs> In this little hat, and that says twenty four ninety nine. Cute mid century wasted. Look up those Garfields. I've seen some Garfield stuff go for fifty plus dollars. Maybe that this could be a box of collectible ornaments. I'm telling you, we've had this box of stuff for like <laughs> over probably six months or so, and I've just like stuff get away. I haven't even bothered. This is the same big old auction where I mean, this is a great auction. I wish we could do that auction again and again. <laughs> it's the one where we got the whole box of tins, the whole box of aprons. Now this is a whole box of ornaments. Here's Snoopy 1992 on ice, ice skates with the little Woodstock. So yeah, I guess we'll probably look these up before we shoot you a price just to be sure. Yeah, that's why we're not going to sell these like we did the aprons and stuff because every once in a while there's collectible, you know, ornaments that you can sell on eBay pretty good. There's Snoopy with a tree and look, Woodstock's on the top and the bottom of the tree says Snoopy. I like that. He's like got a little bottle brush tree. That's yeah, cute. That is cute. Okay. Oh, and there's him pulling a tree. <laughs> there's him pulling a tree on a sled. Yeah, I can see. I can see that some people might have had these once upon their, once upon a time in their life. Well, she yeah, and maybe need a replacement. Uh-oh, there's like a random broken foot. Oh, that's Garfield's that's foot. That's too bad. <laughs> there is Snoopy and Woodstock on a saucer. I don't see a year on this one. Oh, it says Beagle Express. Isn't that cute? I don't see a year on that one. Here's a bell. Oh, I'm going to look this up. Okay. It's a ceramic bell. The tree looks black. It's not. It's green. Ooh, this has a Japan sticker inside. And I think this says 1958. Wow. Isn't that cute. I'm going to look that up. I mean, I hate to sound ceramic. unknowledgeable about things, but bell. when did peanuts even come into existence? Peanuts. So ceramic bell peanuts. I'll just put Snoopy. Japan. What did I say that said 1958? Yeah, that's what you said. 58. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go to the solds section. Schrader, yep. Schroeder. You say Schroeder or Schrader? Schroeder. I think Schroeder. Okay, I don't see any sold. So I'm going to go to the listed items. Here's one listed for 20. Here's one similar 
not exactly, but similar, listed for 25. Um, and here's one similar listed for 23. Scroll, shoulder. Okay. Here's one Melody. similar listed for 18. So around 18 to 25, I would for say. For this little bell? Yeah. Well, how cute is that? Isn't that sweet? It's adorable. Oh, here's another ceramic. This one says 1977. Merry Christmas, 1977. It's Snoopy on his house. Do you mean to look that one up? Mm-hmm. Here, pick out some, like, plasticky ones while I'm doing this. Okay. You want me to show them? Or wait for you? You can do whatever you want. Oh, that one's not as valuable, I don't think. Here's one listed for just like five, and here's one listed for 18. So that one's all over the place. Here's one listed for 10. So what? I'm going to say not as valuable on the doghouse. Oh, on this one? Whoops, yeah. Correct. If you have a 71, I want it. Okay, let's just see. So here's some cute, well, these are like newer. So like this one says 1991 on his little tray. These are so cute. Very cute. So he's got his little drink and his little tray. Lisa Day, is. if you have a 71, I want it. Okay, I will make a note of that. 71, Lisa Day. Here is a 94, Lucy with a football. I think we have another one of those that I saw in here somewhere. Now I've lost it. Lucy with a football. Awesome. There's little, I don't think that's supposed to be Linus. I don't think he looks very much like Linus, but I think that's who it's supposed to be. His snowman looks like him. That's, that's cute. Really cute. Here's a, this isn't an ornament, but this is a Snoopy on a skateboard. He feels like a Happy Meal toy. He's kind of like that plastic, like a California raisin. I feel like, I don't know, what's the... Lucy is a bully. Yeah. Is he a, is that a stocking? Yeah. Oh, look. There's a little wood stock that goes with, I bet that goes with the other one. Oh, yeah, look. So Snoopy is pulling his tree, and then here's a little wood stock pulling his tree as well. That's adorable. And then this says 1972 Hallmark on this little guy. Oh, 72. Yeah. You got close to 71 there. Yeah. Diane says that one was Charlie Brown with the snowman. Maybe it was. Maybe so. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. This one's cute. Let's see. This says, uh, I think this says 1983. Linus. Yeah, this is the year I was born, 1983. That's, oh, that's cute. It says on the bottom that that's Linus. So he's on a little sled. It says 95 on the sled, but on the bottom it says 83. That's weird. Somebody said I got to 50 a lot faster than I expected. Maybe I just can't read. I don't know. But anyway, whatever. He's cute. Zeno, I had that Snoopy snow cone machine that was totally not cute. <gasps> Me too. I loved that. Okay, do you know, Can have you looked any of these up? No. I, I, over there? I felt like these are just kind of like cheap feeling. Okay. This one says 72. Yeah, but are they Hallmark ones? I don't know. Yeah, I think there are. Some of them are. Some of them are Hallmark. Well, those are valuable even if they were made yesterday. Here's right. one of Snoopy playing... Uh, Hockey with Woodstock. <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. Oh, here's oh, Sherry Smith. I have one right now, but it's still on eBay. Probably the snow phone machine is what she meant. That's awesome. Merry Christmas, 1977. Snoopy, and he's holding Woodstock. That's adorable. Oh, that one looks like that. Here's one that looks just like that, except he has a, a candy cane instead of Woodstock. 
It also says 1977. That's cute. Okay. What here's, is that? Here's some more ceramic ones, but these look older. Okay. <laughs> that my says, glasses. How, what does that, that say? That says 1966, made in Japan. That's my year. Hey. Okay, what is that? This is fries. It's Snoopy holding a box of fries. That's not very Christmassy. Okay, Sno it's an ornament though. Like there's this little Snoopy thing. Japan. What'd you say? 1966. Uh huh. Fries. <laughs> Let me go to sold. Kitchy cat knows all about that one. Kitchy cat says I've sold it. Oh. That one's worth a lot. Keep it, Fern. <laughs> Fern. He looks super happy holding those fries. That's the way Dixie would look if she was holding fries. Oh, shoot. I misspelled ornament. Hold on. <laughs> He's pretty cute. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Here's one for a hundred dollars. What? <gasps> oh, wait. Kitchy, Kitchy Cat just said it sold for $90. <gasps> wait, look, look, wait, look. This is a set of four. So there's one on a pie and one with the fries and then like a popcorn or root beer or something. And then there's one at the bottom. He's like on a sandwich. Anyway, this says junk food Christmas ornaments. This is sold for $374 for four of them. Holy cow. That's sold in January. Sherry Smith says, I have the pie one. Laura! <laughs> Laura! <laughs> Stop it. Are you serious? I'm so excited. I'm going to put those on eBay like right now. <laughs> I swear, look, sold January of this year, $374.99 for those four. <gasps> what if those other four are in there? What if the other ones are in there? Laura, <laughs> I need another well, drink. Well, I see another one. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Danny's like, that's a $100 ornament. Vintage <gasps> Avena, we're rich. Oh my God, you got two of them. There's the pie one. <gasps> Laura! What if, okay, okay. What if we had sold these for like $5? <laughs> we got to be more careful going through the box. We've just been like <laughs> going through. Oh my gosh. Okay, so wait. It looks like there's a... Okay, it looks like there's a junk food... Hold on. I'm going to look this up like on Google. Snoopy 1966 God, you junk put those? Don't... food <laughs> ornaments. <gasps> Quick, guys. I know. Okay, so Ruth there's Anna is so excited. There's a French fries. Oh my gosh. Okay. It looks like there's a hamburger, a hot dog, a pie, French fries, a root beer, and an ice cream cone. So here's a picture that I found on Google. So oh, it's very blurry. Yeah, I know. It looks like a hamburger, a hot dog, a pie, a French fries, a root beer, and a ice cream cone. Laura, <laughs> those are like what way down this? in there. Like we probably didn't pay like five dollars for that box. What if there's more in here? Stop googling and keep digging in that box. <gasps> <gasps> You're so funny. <laughs> it's a hard uh, old one. Uh, let me just let me just say something. I bought this box. I think that's one of the ones I had marked for you to bid on. No, I think it was. Mm -mm, I bought this all by myself. It's the hot dog one. Look. <gasps> Stop. I don't love it when you guess like that. I've never heard you do that before. <laughs> What else is in here? Oh my gosh, they had the whole collection. Stop it. Do you have all of them? I don't know. We don't know How what's in here. So okay, so in this picture, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
We've got the hot dog, the pie, the root beer, the and, the root beer and the fries. Yeah, four out of six. There's two. <laughs> if they're in here, I'm going to die. Okay. Okay, here's the other Lucy one that I saw. <laughs> here's the Lucy one with the. <laughs> That's not good. With the football. Oh, wait. Get these out of my way. Don't. I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Now I'm excited. At first, I'm I was. i do it. Okay. At first, I didn't really like this box. Now it's my favorite thing. Oh. Oh, it's Garfield. Oh, no. Nobody he cares about Lucy. <laughs> He's lost his tail, too. So that's not good. Carrie, I'm sorry. She's like, I need a Xanax listening the to this. thing is killing me. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's really cute, but look, his little tail's broken. You could glue it back if it's sentimental. To Nobody you, cares but. about that. Oh no! Spam said Charlie Brown and Lucy are shit out of luck now. <laughs> Here's a foot. Oh, Somebody, God. something lost a foot in there. Hopefully that wasn't important. Uh, I don't know. I think we've passed all the. Yeah, you know, they were all in there together. Okay, here's a bell. Here's another one of those bells. I think those are worth about twenty dollars. Here's another one. Oh, that's hey, good. Hey, it's Peppermint Patty. Do you like Peppermint Patty? I do. You would. <laughs> do you not like Peppermint Patty? I don't know. Quit peeking. I'm trying to dig in there and see the ones that are close to it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now everything's going to be a letdown. Nobody okay. cares about the bills. <laughs> Share <Sheriff> some. <laughs> okay. He's uh, 1977. So oh, he's cute with his little poinsettia, right? People are really upset that you're discriminating against Garfield. I care about the her. Garfield. You don't care about my. Oh, somebody money. said I look like peppermint patty. Well, that's cute. Well, the Garfield that I I didn't show it for very long because it's broke. We're gonna look. It, it was cute, but his tail was broken. Throw the rest in the trash now. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll look all these up later. But now I'm excited. I don't know what to do. Here's okay. another bell. We've got the whole collection of those. Are, of those the are bells. like twenty five dollars. Yeah, so the whole, all of them might be worth like a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's cute. Look, Garfield is—he's <laughs> just up like a reindeer. He looks really put out about it. Melody, Bell, Schmel, Tanya, you two are awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Tiger wants to know if there's a lobster. God, I hope box. so. <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh! Now, I don't think this one's broken. But yeah, yeah. Similar. I don't have I don't have high expectations. I feel like we've passed the layer with the sweet spot. And yep. Okay, here's Garfield with those are cute. Some though, those stuff. Garfields. I agree. An Earth Pig. <laughs> oh, let's see what this one is. I'm not gonna show you. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's Garfield. <laughs> oh, it's Garfield. Oh, he's cute, though. He's sitting on a star, and the star is 91. That's cute. That's Katie was born in 91. Don't care about Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very proud of himself on that star. <sighs> okay, here's the Garfield again, 1989. He's ceramic. So we got greedy. Kind of, I think. Looking for the rest of the Snoopies. <laughs> ah, he's cute. Inesco, the Garfield. With the little peppermint stick. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm on Team Garfield. Says he's pretty cute, isn't he, Jamie? <laughs> Here's another Garfield. <clears throat> Whoops. With his little nightlight and his stocking. Oh, here's a. Oh, wait. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little pocket watch and he's standing on it. That's really cute. I like that one. Here's baby Sylvester. Look at that. Oh, he's tiny. I bet he goes with the bigger one. <laughs> the size of disappointment with every I know, unwrapping. Those are cute. Those are going to be worth money. I'm telling you. I know. Is... You should probably stop and look up some. Garfield. Yeah, I should. I'm just like on the hunt now.
1989 again. It looks again. like we're going to be all Garfield from... Yeah, I think this is the Garfield layer. And they're cute. Oh, look how... I like these big fat ones. Cute. Oops. Look at this little Santa hat on. There's a little Snoopy with a candy cane. He's dancing. You know they didn't put those other Snoopies down here in the bottom of this box. Yeah, probably not. I think we're on the like the almost the last layer. But we got four of them. Four of six. That's really good. The question is, do we list them separately or together? That's the question. Yeah. I don't know. I bet if, if we had all <laughs> six. <laughs> Carrie you said if the camera wasn't on him, he would have tipped that box over a long time ago. <laughs> I think if we had all six. All six, then uh, the Danny is the expert, and she said separate. Separate. All right. Yeah, because we don't have the whole set, so right. somebody's gonna have to fill their set. Danny, if you had all six, would you list them together or separately? If you had all of them, uh, and I say all six, I don't know. That was just a random picture I found on Google. I, there could be more than six. I have look no at idea. his little shoes, Mary Beth. Look at his slippers. Yeah. He's got dog slippers. Look, he's under a mistletoe. And he's going to kiss you. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I feel like we're on the Garfield layer. So, 1988 was the night before Christmas. And that's Garfield and Odie and I bet these 76 ones are valuable. Here, I'll look one up. The Garfield. So, like, this one has a date. Okay. Does that say 76 or 78? 78. Oh, eight. Okay, look, so. <laughs> look at his face. Inesco 1978, and it's Garfield ornament, and he's an angel. Yeah. Miss Pamela says, let us know which ones you're missing from the set. Okay. Oh, look, here's the stopwatch one that just popped up that I showed a minute ago. That one sold for $29. Or not the stopwatch, the pocket watch. That one's 30 sold. bucks. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't see that one. I don't see the angel. Okay. Wait, let me go to listed. I was at undersold. Oh, here's one listed for $20. Awesome. Of him. See, that's a lot. Yeah. Pookie. I don't I haven't seen any with Pookie in there. No, that, they're saying that's Pookie. Pookie's the bear, right? Isn't, oh. Isn't Pookie the bear? Yeah, and Odie's the dog. Yeah. Pookie's the bear. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Look. See, these little fat ones make a set. Mm -hmm. Like, here he is making, like, a Silly face with the Santa hat on. Pam Avery, you're correct. We don't, we haven't found the ice cream one, and we haven't found the hamburger one. Correct. And um, unless if there's more, then. But those yeah, we're two. down to like the last few. I'm not, I'm not feeling good about it. <laughs> Here's another Inesco one. This one's like a wreath. Front porch picker. I predict the box is worth four hundred dollars plus. Oh my god! Well, yeah, yeah. If these junk food uh, ornaments are worth as much as it looks like they're worth, it's definitely probably more like five hundred dollars plus. That's crazy. That's insane. I would have never guessed. Never ever in my life. I don't life. know who the little the little girl Garfield yeah, is. I think what? that's like Garfield's girlfriend. What's the date on that? Normal. Huh? Normal. Normal. Mm -hmm. That's her name? Yeah. I think that sounds right. <laughs> That's funny. I don't remember. Does that her. have a year on it? Um. That's cute. Somebody said they needed some lasagna. <laughs> I think that says 1979. Okay. 1979. Nephew. Nephew Normal. Ice skate. Normal the kitten. Hey, Arlene, the girlfriend. 
I don't see any sold, but I see one listed for 32. Normal is uh, Garfield's nemesis, probably because it's so frisky. Oh. The new kitten, yes. Okay. She's the annoying kitten. Got okay. It. Wonder if the person that sold you all this for five dollars is watching. Well, it was an auction. It was an auction. So I don't feel bad about it because it's like not like we went and offered her five dollars for it. It was like fair and square. You know? I think we I think auction. we spent more like ten dollars on this box. Yeah. I think it was between, but it wasn't very much. No, it may have been eight. It was not much at all. <clears throat> Yeah, oh we, were, my God. we were talking about what we were going to do for the show. We've got two boxes, and I kept I couldn't tell the difference in the boxes, and Mary Beth kept saying, you know, the little shitty box. And I was like, what? Because I like that box. That's what I said. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Thanks, Deanna. Yeah, she was like, which box of ornaments do you want to show? I was like, how about the little shitty box? <laughs> I I've, I've, take it back. I take it all back. Look at his face. He's like, <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I like him. That's how I feel most of the time. Oh, he's It's like I'm trying to smile, but I can't. And I'm holding my <laughs> belly because I'm so full because I just ate something. That's exactly how I feel all of the time. That's so specific. That one, too. <laughs> oh, that's a good face, too. The one with the shitty box of ornaments for $500. <laughs> Yeah, um, I regret everything I've said. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, guys, we're at the very bottom, and these are all flat, so it's not going to work out. Get the other box. I'll go look. I'll go look real quick. <laughs> That's true. It's probably it's worth getting the other box now. Are they from the same auction? Yeah. Oh, my God, they could be in there. <laughs> the other box was... Uh, they were, they're in boxes. They're like Hallmark ornaments that are in boxes. So they could be in there, maybe not. So I think this is uh, Odie dressed as like, uh, what's uh, Marley? Is it? Oh, that's it's like one of the ghosts, like the ghost of Christmas. What's the ghosts that are chained up? What's their names? Uh, Mara. Well, it's just one ghost. In the, in the Muppet Christmas Carol, they turn it into two brothers. Right. But originally, it's one ghost named Marley. It's Marley. They're all like, get the other box stat. Okay, I'll go look for it. I don't. It's not the same kind of box. They're mostly in boxes. Yeah, so you know how Hallmark ornaments come in boxes? I think it's mostly that, but I'll go look. That one's cute. I don't know. It's, that one looks kind of funny. And, of course, I cannot see... The year on that one, but it looks like it's an Esco, so it looks like all the other 70s ones, so it's probably like 78, like the other ones. Um, let's see, we might as well just do this too while we're at it. Okay, this one has Pookie, there's a good picture of Pookie right there, right? And that one is oh, I've got it far enough away, I can see it 78, so that's cute. And we got one more, and, we're, and then we'll be done. Blah. Then we've got Odie. He's probably the same year. Let's see. Let's see if we've got him. So this box is smaller. It doesn't have as much stuff in it. Cute. This is interesting. So this <coughs> is like... What is this? It's like plastic molds no they're just like little <laughs> they're like little there's a bunch of them here together there's fit together like muffin they're just a whole liners. bunch of ornaments that aren't very expensive like, they're just like these little plastic those are super cute garfields though. and they're molds of garfield Look how adorable they are that's cool So yeah, I had it in my mind that all of these little ornaments were going to be the crappy ones, and these that were still in their boxes were going to be the good ones. Yeah. So that's what was in my mind, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, look at this, you guys. You guys are going to love this. Ah, oh, it's so cute. It says, I'm Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, Well, isn't that cute? Look at him. He's plasticky. It's like a little advertising piece. What I is guess. It? Look, he's got. Uh, Paula says, I think those are to decorate the top of cakes. Maybe those garbage oh, ones. Maybe. I don't know. 
But look at him. He's so cute. He's got like a little fanny pack around his neck. <laughs> Let's look him up. It's Rudolph. I bet. Rudolph, look him up, they said. Here, let me see the, what does it say? Um, it, I don't know. What does that say at the bottom? RP, BP? Okay, no, so. No, Bradford. Rudolph. Brr. Somebody says he goes on a record. I mean, that, it looks kind of like he's sitting on a record. That looks like a record. Bradford. That's a red bow. I know, but look at that. You're right. This part, it looks like a bow, but this big part didn't really look like part of the bow, but I guess it is a necky pack. <laughs> it goes on a record. Well, how cute is that? What? Here's one listed for $63. Stop it. Are you serious? Oh my God. Here's one list. These are listed now, guys. Here's one listed for 75 What? Let me go to Sold's. He sits on a record. Annie Hart says, I have the same. The record goes on a real record. Okay, so this record, even though it's, this is on a record, the whole thing sits on a record and spins around, right? Is that what you're saying? I don't see any soul. It's very cute. I don't see any soul. <laughs> They're like, your chin was on the floor with you. He's so cute. See, here's a bunch of them. He's old. Vintage Bradford Hard Plastic Christmas 1940s Rudolph and Clarice. There's a bunch of them like that, and those all sold for $100. And here's this little guy, which is the oh, same. Oh, there's Katie. That's the same thing, and that's $75. That's listed, though, now. Katie, look at this. Have you ever seen something like this, Katie? They're saying it goes on a record. Oh, she just said, I've never seen one like that. Wow. Very cool. That's, That's really so cool. Cute. We'll show Katie our, our, our exciting find here in just a second. <clears throat> okay. Katie just tuned in. Let's look through the rest of this. Oh, this is cute. This little tacky, <laughs> tacky, vintagey plastic holly mm. berry basket. Yeah. Here's a little shitty Santa candle holder. <laughs> this is cute though. Somebody will want that. Really? That little plasticky basket of greenery. Here's a, I don't know. Is this like plastic? Zeno says that George says he hardly ever sees those record toppers. Wow. I have never seen one. I didn't even know that's what that was. Thanks George. Yeah, that's really cool. So here's just a plastic. This is not vintage, just so you guys know. This is made in China, uh, just an apple, I think. Here's a cool ornament. Made in Jamie, Germany. Jamie's just back. Jamie, look. Sorry, Jamie. This is what you missed. We've, we're on to the second box. Look. Have you ever seen one of those? She said, "Was the candle holder hold power?" No, I doubt it. no, it's just it's uh just cheap uh sugar britches. It's uh still in its original package, in its original plastic, and it's uh it's it's nothing special. <laughs> Jamie, oh my God, I want that. She's talking with this. I'm sure the Rudolph. Isn't it cute? Okay, so that was that, and then that plastic ornament. Here is a ornament and this there's a little tag on it that says made in Germany that one's really pretty oh that's pretty yeah I like that one really nice <laughs> okay what you got oh I think these are cute look they're from Harrods oh and so they're just um, if you show this one I want to see what this one's made out of I can't tell if they're metal but they're like made in England mm-hmm those are cute. So Harrods of London, you know, like the big department store. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's this little one. So those are cute. They're a little bit heavy. So I think they're metal, which makes them really cute, I think. So Kenny, we're not selling. We're not selling tonight. But if you see any of this stuff that you're interested in. Oh, it says in, terracotta. I'm sorry. 
if you see any of this stuff that you're interested in, you can send us an email and we'll, we can sell to you that way. We're just, we're not certain what this stuff is worth. So I don't feel comfortable selling it on the spot. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you guys. Thanks for being observant. It does say terracotta on the bottom. I knew they felt like they had a little weight to them. Yeah. Look at, look at his little face. I think those are really, really cute. So here's a set of angels and they have these little red candles. <coughs> these are also not vintage. They say made in China on the bottom, but they're really cute. They're holding their little red candles. I like those actually. Okay, let's catch up Katie Vintage and Vinyl. Let's just show her really quick the fast food Snoopies. Oh my gosh, so, Katie. We found a bunch of Garfields. You can go back and watch if you like Gar. I think she said she didn't like Garfield. But uh, but here's the learning the learning portion of the evening. The, yeah. le the learning portion of the content. We have all learned that there are Snoopy That's yeah. fast food collectibles. Junk food. Junk food. Yeah. And they're worth like between fifty and eighty dollars a piece. Some, I think some of them are like eighty to a hundred a piece. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Look, Mary Beth got the other ones. I'm going to list all these for a hundred dollars a piece uh, or best offer and see what happens. Yeah. I'm just going to see what happens because we can always take an offer. Yeah. There's the hot dog. There's the hot dog one and the pie. Oh yeah. There's the pie. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. So we know there's a hamburger and a ice cream cone out there somewhere, which we don't have that. And we're checking this box to see if they're here. Yeah, everybody was like, go get the other box. What do you mean you have another box? But it's not looking good. This one's marked. This one says, given to Laura, 1991 by Angela something. Laura? That's me. So you guys keep your eyes open for the junk food Snoopies. Who knew? I'm looking in every box too. What if they hid their Snoopies in the boxes? Yes. Yes. This was just a candle, a little Russ candle with the snowman. Yeah. And this is just a little bisque angel in this box that was given to Laura in 1991. Not this Laura, another Laura. <laughs> I'll keep my hand on that one. Okay. If you want to go back and hear me gasp about 4,000 times, you can go back and watch this video later and watch me freak out. So that was fun. Yeah, what if they're faking us out? I know. What's on the actual boxes? I'm saying now inside? we have to open it. Oh, this is cute. Oh, look, and you can plug this into your lights and it lights up. So this is 1994. And it's Snoopy and Woodstock with a little lamp post. I think most of the rest of these are light up kind. That's cool. This is a little just made in China light up teddy bear one. That's cute. If you had the boxes, they would be even more valuable. Yeah. So from what I've seen... Obviously, we have not looked up the Garfield ornaments, but the little junk food ones and that little reindeer record topper looks to be like the stars of the show. Yeah. And see, I just love this community and watching these videos just for you this. You can't say community. We love our flock. <laughs> yeah. Just because you find out little tidbits like this because, okay, so you see this in a store now. Uh, obviously, anybody, because... They know Snoopy's kind of collectible. Anybody would possibly pay five or ten dollars for that, but you wouldn't pay twenty dollars for it or thirty dollars for it. But you would now because you, you know it'll bring a hundred dollars. Yeah, you know, I'm telling you. So this one's 1992. You could plug this one in as well, and uh, it's just little Woodstock and Snoopy on the doghouse, and it says Happy Holidays. Cute. Yeah, these will be easy to list. So I feel like I'm going to challenge myself to put these these ones on eBay before we go on our trip. Oh, wow. That's well, I mean, not like all of them, but just while people are interested, you know, they might be interested in these Garfield ones or. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm just going to take for granted that these are what they yeah. are. Yeah, uh, the, the first couple were, so. So that one's a fireplace, 1991, Snoopy. 
<laughs> Jamie says, I want a fat bird flock members only jacket. <laughs> Me too. Isn't that great? Fat bird flock. That would be flocking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's way funnier than it should be. <laughs> that that one's cute of him oh, playing his piano. I love how smitten Lucy is with him. Yeah, so cute. And then Magic Collector blinking lights. So here's Snippy with his little blinking light tree. I love these that like you plug into the lights and they do something. That one's 93. And this one is Light in Motion. You're building a snowman, I think, maybe. Sorry, it's really hard to, there we go, get to focus. Lucy was a stalker before we knew what that term was. Yeah. And this one's 95. And here's a little bell that says Merry Christmas, Art Mark. And look, this one was also to Laura in 1991. That freaks me out when you say that. I feel like I'm the only Laura there is. <laughs> all right. Well, that was good. That was it. That was all of them. Awesome. We went through both boxes. We oh, have got little teddy bear was Avon. We That's have really Snoopy and Garfields just scattered everywhere around us. I wish you guys could see all this <laughs> Snoopy and Garfield. Oh yeah, those bells. Those were kind of a good find too, Mary Beth. Yeah. So, do you have any over there, or are they all over here? I think they're all over there. Oh no, I, I still got one. So look, we've got four of these bells. So I think those are worth about $20 a piece. Mm -hmm. So that was a good find. And then, of course, the junk food ones was an excellent find. And those are all going to be going on eBay as soon as I have time to list them, along with that reindeer, <laughs> the reindeer record topper. Yeah. So, yeah. Melinda's already emailed us about a couple. Awesome. Right. So now give us some time because we do. we will have to research these. And the, I think the... I mean, I think it's safe to say that the Rudolph will go on eBay and the junk food ones will go on eBay. Yeah, I mean, if you're willing to pay that much for them, of course we would love to sell them to you. But, you know, if you're not, we understand, and we're probably going to list those on eBay soon. So, yeah. Stop with the bells. <laughs> Stop with the bells. <laughs> Doug, Laura got some crappy-ass gifts in 1991. <laughs> I bet Laura was a kid, <laughs> if I had to guess. Oh, we were all kids one day. Blake said the reindeer <laughs> sold for $66 recently. Awesome. That's awesome. I didn't see any sold, I, I think, when I was looking. That's awesome. Good night, Gabrielle. Blake's probably a big spender. He's probably got, you know, worth point or something that we don't have. What now? Say that again. I said Blake's probably a big spender. He's probably got worth point or something. Oh, yeah. But he's like a record guy. Yeah, I had worth point for a, a little bit, but then I forgot to cancel it, and I was like spending thirty dollars a month, and I was like, I don't need to do that anymore. Bye, Michelle. <laughs> Bye, Michelle. Michelle, I can't wait to junk journal. I'm gonna be really good at it, and you're gonna be jealous. <laughs> we do have worth point, Jamie. I need to send you some things to look up. <laughs> I'll send you a list. I'm just kidding. I won't do that. But we could, hey, we could get on there together so we would only be taking up one spot in the class. Michelle, if you've got room for both of us. I don't want you with me. I want to do my soul. Oh, okay. I want to do my own. Okay. That makes me flocking mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is. Uh... <laughs> Really funny. You're funny. <laughs> Guys, what a fun night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Katie, we've got to get with Share Katie. Share the flocking I have, it is, I have Katie now on uh, Marco Polo. I just, oh. I'm never on there, so I don't, I haven't talked you to her yet. You have Katie on Marco Polo and I don't know about it? Yeah. Well, let's, let's send get her it out. Right let's do it right now. Yeah. Okay, we're going to send Katie and Marco Polo right now. And here we go. And you ready? Hey, Katie. Hi, Katie. We're on flipping and sipping, as you can see, and we're just letting you know that we're coming to Florida a week from tomorrow. So, Katie, we're coming to see you. It's going to be like a five extra hour 
<laughs> trip, but I think we can't leave Florida without seeing we you. We can't be that close to you and not come see you. So That's right. We're going to get with you, and we're going to figure out when we're coming. Say bye to Katie. Bye, Katie. Bye, Katie. <laughs> so there you go, Katie. You've got that to look forward to. <laughs> you can experience that again. <laughs> But yeah, Laura and I are going to Florida, and Nikki and my mom, we're all going to Florida. We're leaving a week from tomorrow. Sherry, she is in the chat. We're just being silly. Hey, somebody said, Pam Avery said, six Snoopy Bells on eBay for $175. Yes. Yes. I bet we can get $100 for those. We need, we need, a, little, we need a little eBay action. Yeah, right? we do. Yeah. I listed some stuff today. But. I know. But now I'm excited to list. Oh, the Danny says what part? What part of what? Florida, I guess. Oh, we're going to Panama City Beach. And Katie's in Jacksonville, so it's kind of really far, like right across the. It's, it's, it's the like top right part, across the top of the all state, all the way over to the other side, right? Yeah. So, so I think it'll be, and we have to time change too because she's going to be Eastern and we're going to be Central. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a bummer too. Yeah, that really pisses me. off. No, we're used to the time change because yeah. Kentucky split right down the middle. Yeah. So we understand. But yeah, so we'll lose an hour going over there. But we'll get it back on our way back. True. All right. <laughs> I want the Garfields to pull through. Oh, Danny was in Florida. Oh, Jamie, I know. I'm going to keep you posted on the Garfields. I have a good feeling. Yeah. Uh, Jamie, did you miss the... Here, wait. Wait. Danny, niche lady, she, they posted a picture. She met up with Alex. <gasps> That's fun. Isn't that fun? Yeah, Alex is pretty far, a lot farther south, I think. I think so, but that is so awesome. Katie says, I promise I'll make your visit worth it. Oh, it's going to be worth it just when everyone's Katie, there. just to see your beautiful face, it's going right. to be worth it for me. Look at no, this. No, the, the, no creepy factor there. Jamie, <laughs> look at that. I love the little fat set of, I mean, I know Garfield's supposed to be fat, but these are like super fat ones. Yeah, those are good. So I think you were tucking the kids in. I don't know if you saw all those. Yeah, but that's a cute set. Yeah, those are fun. When ja when I invited Jamie to come stay with us, uh -huh. I messaged her, and the first thing I said was, "I don't want this to sound creepy, but why don't you come stay with me for a while?" <laughs> she was like, "Oh my gosh, you're so creepy." <laughs> so yeah, anyway, that's okay. Maybe I am a little creepy, but I'll I'll embrace that. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Garfield will haunt me in my sleep tonight. Me too, Melody. Me too. Did Katie? No, I didn't Marco Polo. You I Marco did. Polo Katie. Okay, that's not her. <laughs> I may be coming to Kentucky next year. <gasps> yes. Yes. What kind of conference what, is what it? What conference? Yes, Jamie, you're my creepy best friend too. That's awesome, Danny, because like if you're, you know, if you're in our end of the state, of course, that's... You know, that's great. But even if you're in the other end of the state, we've got Katie and Megan that we can stay with and come yeah. visit that end. So, yeah, we've got it pretty much covered. Exactly. <sighs> okay. Oh, she spoke. She spoke on eBay. It was What's mainly ticking? It was mainly Amazon, but she spoke on eBay. Awesome. Louisville is where is they're talking watch about. watch ticking? You were taking. You were doing something. <laughs> I've, yeah, so Louisville is really close oh. to Lexington, which is close to my kids. So we'll be able to go up there and visit Max and spend the night, and then and come see you and and all that stuff. So that's awesome. Yeah, we can totally do Jamie's that. Jamie's going to pretend that there's a conference in Kentucky that. Well, you can come to Mary Beth's creepy conference. <laughs> By the way, you guys, we got to get serious about the corporate picnic. I'm telling you, I've been talking to George and Zeno. I'm I'm like. I'm serious about it. Did you see George's video a couple days ago where he basically was like Antiques Roadshow? Yes. Yeah. Wasn't that fun? Yes. Oh, my God. I loved that. Oh, I love that, too. I and mean, he, he'll have to do that at the corporate. That's picnic. what I said. I commented that on his video. I was like, you're going to have to set up a little appraisal table at the corporate picnic. <laughs> but you know what you missed? The next, after that? What? That, well, that premiered, that video premiered. And then my poor mom, mom, I was trying to teach, tell you how to, to watch George live which was after that, and she was back watching that video. So she was calling me, commenting, George was, like, talking about Dick and Jane. Did you just see I'm like, Mom, you're in the wrong video. But anyway. Anyway. It was, you missed them live, and Zeno was on there, split screen, on the new channel. 
the Antique Nomad Live. If you have not yet subscribed to the Antique Nomad Live, you need to do so immediately. They're trying to get to a thousand so that they can go live on their phone. Yeah. On e, you know, on YouTube. Yeah. So they're they've got a completely separate channel so that you know he can go live at his shows and things. Yeah. It's totally awesome. Agree. And Zeno has sound effects. I want sound effects. I want sound he had effects. the cha-ching. They had a say they did like a live sale for a few minutes and they did the cha-ching when it sold. I feel like Zeno's always out doing me. And Zeno, what else did you have? Um like, I have to pack my lady gown. Oh my god. Zeno says an edited version of the live will be posted by the end of this, hopefully. Oh that's nice. good. Cool. What else did you have, Zeno? What were the other sound effects? Probably something awesome. I yeah, need, they were really good. I need some flocking sound effects. <laughs> hey, Danny, Vegas meetup. Hey, I have a question. So my dad called me last night randomly. He never calls me. But anyway, he called me last night. And he goes, do you want to go to Vegas? And I was like, well, yeah. When are we going? And he said, did he say December or November? December. He said December. And I was like, why are we going to Vegas in December? And he said that there's, I think there's going to be a UK game, University of Kentucky basketball game out there. And he loves Vegas. He went for the first time like last summer or last, maybe it was more like a year ago. Yes. It was before COVID. I, think Gosh, we all go. I feel like COVID is like a time warp basically. Cause I feel like it, anyway, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone, but he was like, are you, do you want to go? And I was like, okay. <laughs> So I'm not saying that I'm going to Vegas in December, but I might be going to Vegas in December. If you're going to Vegas in December, I am too. Let's all go. I'll stay somewhere else. I'll go stay with Danny. <laughs> Danny, <laughs> Danny, Laura's being creepy and she's going to stay with you. We're all coming to stay with you. <laughs> you can stay with me, Laura. Uh, so anyway. Okay. Yes. Before we go, Zeno, please link uh, the new channel in the feed right here for anybody watching that hasn't uh, subscribed to it yet. Jamie, I will meet you in Vegas. Yes. Let's, let's let's do it. I think we should plan it. Instead of buying each other Christmas gifts, which is a big waste right. of money. I mean, sometimes it's a waste of money. Right. Or you feel like it is. We can just all take ourselves to Vegas. Okay. So nobody buy anything. Nobody buy each other anything for Christmas. And we'll, I mean, it's going to cost more than that, but you know. Right. Yeah. Okay. So here's some ifs. If UK plays in Vegas, Carrie this year, said I would totally meet you in Vegas. Oh my God! Well, it's on. It's on now. And the Melinda, I could actually get to a Vegas meetup. <laughs> okay, so if UK plays in Vegas this year, and if my family goes, I'm I'm gonna go. And you can come too. And you can come too. Oh we'll just God. all go. That's awesome. Yeah. We can go live from the hotel room because you know it's Vegas. The they'll be like conference rooms or something that we can have somewhere that we can set up to go live. I'll keep you posted. And have a party. Yeah. Oh, Catherine, I love Vegas. I'm in. Fat bird, stop inviting yourselves <laughs> to someone's house. That's rude. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What are all the bees for? What does that mean? <laughs> Am I in trouble? <laughs> Mom, you want to go to Vegas? Let's just all go. Mom, let's go to Vegas. Yeah. We we'll have to start saving up money. So we've, we're having vacation next week. So we're going to have to start saving up money again. Yeah. yeah. Immediately. We're going to have to sell some Snoopy on the hot dogs. I'm going to put those <laughs> Snoopy on the hot dogs. That's going to go in the Vegas fund. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> so I bet you that that's George's channel link. Yes. Is what Katie has done. There. Katie, you're good. So thank you, Katie. Thank you so much. Oh, Zeno says I can't post a link. Oh, Zeno's not a mod. Probably. Gotcha. Gotcha. The BBB was a mistake, your mom says. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Santa isn't coming this year. Mommy's spending all her money on gambling and booze in Vegas. <laughs> oh, here. Katie's doing it again. I can't give you a date yet because it's all going to be dependent on if University of Kentucky plays basketball. Uh, Danny said her birthday is December the 20th. It'd be like the best birthday present ever. I mean, I guess we could go anyway. Yeah. Why not? <coughs> yeah. But then my dad, if UK doesn't play and then we go to Vegas, my dad's going to be really mad at me if I go without him. Well, he'll have to come. Yeah, yeah. he'll have to come too. He asked me yesterday on the phone, he was, I, he said, when do I get to be on your show? And I was like, well, you can, why don't you come over tomorrow and you can do it? He goes, no, no, no. 
I I wasn't in, actually invited. I was like, hmm, well, you're always invited. God, that would be a disaster. <laughs> oh, Jamie only needs four hours notice. All right. So Sherry says, if Miss Joy's in, I'm in. Come on, Mom. We got to do it. <laughs> anyway, we'll keep you guys posted on that. But, yeah, I don't know. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that's really not that far off. December. We're already halfway through this year. I know. More than halfway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you're not subscribed to our channel and if you've had a good time, please consider subscribing because we would really appreciate it. We've reached like a plateau and we're just plateauing with our subscribers. Yeah, we really are. We really want some more. It's I think it's because we don't put out enough videos. Yeah, and I've been really bad at it lately. I've I've not been editing a lot of videos, but I have I have videos scheduled for like the next three or four weeks. So been that's there, done that. Mom. So that's good. <laughs> Only my mom likes Vegas very much. You have fun with us though, mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mom has PTSD from <laughs> from maybe Vegas. my mom wants to go to Vegas. Oh, flipping and sipping in the air. Yes. <laughs> that would be flocking awesome. I can't wait to go to Flock in Vegas. And of course we're subscribed. I know you guys are. You we're, guys are the best. This is called preaching to the choir, Mary Beth. That's in right. case you don't know what that term is, it's, yeah. it's perfect for this situation. Preaching to the choir. Anybody that's watching us after an hour and 51 minutes is probably subscribed. Hey, Catherine Young <laughs> to our channel. is over 800 and getting really close to 1,000. Good job, Catherine. I think I'm going to put, I think Mary Beth, if you will give me permission, I'm going to put my little crappy videos out in between your good videos to boost our numbers. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> look at her, look at her uh, total, what? Not disgust. No, but. I'm impressed. I like your little crappy videos. <laughs> no, but you like totally disagree with that. No, I want you to do whatever you want to do. Oh, I'm really I love happy. how everybody's uh, uh, planning their trip. <laughs> Me too. And I don't even know if we're going, but maybe we will. The Pink I, Elephant Parlor just made it to 500. That's awesome. Nice. I just got here and I'm thumbing up. Thanks, Catherine Bell. <laughs> okay, so next week, next Friday, right? Are you with me? There's a hotel that we can rent. For $7,500, 100 people is only $75 each. Well, that is awesome. Wow. Go back to the, put that back up on the screen. That Who was said that? Danny, and she knows a lot about things. There's a hotel we can rent the whole thing for $7,500, 100 people, that's only $75 each. Wow. That's re really cool to know. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> that's corporate picnic material. Yeah, right it is. George will have to go do appraisals. Yes. Okay, now, next week, let me just give a disclaimer for next week. We, we'll probably do flipping and sipping next week, right? Maybe. Maybe. <gasps> Unless we, like, take off and go to Florida. We'll be on the road. We don't know when we're leaving yet for vacation. We don't know if we're leaving, like, in the night, like the Friday night before, or if we're leaving really early Saturday morning. So flipping and sipping is is tentative right now for next week, and we're definitely not going to sell anything next week because no, we, we won't, can't ship it. We won't be home to ship it. That's right. So yeah. they want to have blue and orange shirts, flock shirts, when we go have the corporate picnic out in Vegas, and they could be team blue or team <laughs> orange. We definitely have to have some kind of matching shirt. Well, I, I don't want to speak for everybody here, but I think everybody's team orange. Oh. Uh-uh. You better order more blue. <laughs> Maybe we need to get them like split in half, like the blue and the orange. Do you think we could stand out on the street in Vegas like they do and like have our pictures made with people? Oh, my God. For I don't, tips? I don't think we'll make very much. I bet, I bet you have to have some sort of a license to do that. I bet we wouldn't even make enough money for the license. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I so love funny. It. I love it, guys. Okay, so we're going to sign off. Um, if you saw an ornament that you're interested in, send us an email. We will shoot you back a price eventually. 
give us some time because we'll have to look some of this stuff up. Um, we do shipping on Sunday evenings, typically, invoicing and shipping. And yeah. Video out on Tuesday? We'll have a video out on Tuesday. I think, excuse me? Oh, Jamie. Jamie. What did Jamie say? She's doing something tomorrow at noon. Come watch my live show tomorrow at noon Pacific. I'm giving away the Sears Christmas catalog. Oh, Jamie, I have PTSD about that damn Sears catalog. She, she said the, pe the people in there were my age, and she's like, are any of them still alive yet? <laughs> are still alive? Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Jamie, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. oh, that was great. Okay, give us a like. Like this video if you haven't done that already. You can come back later and name the video also. So after the video post, if you want to come back and name it like a friend's episode, you like preface it with the one with the or the one that. So you could do the one with the hot dog ornament or the one where Mary Beth was really excited about the ornaments or the one where Mary Beth hated the ornaments and then she loved them or something funny. The one where we named the 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 flock. The community our flock. What if? Actually Auntie Christy did that, right? Wasn't it Auntie Christy? Yes, yeah. I think so, of course. Of course. <laughs> it doesn't take much guessing there. Auntie she's, Christy she needs to work in my one. she needs to come and work in my marketing department clever girl. with me. She would be really good. <laughs> I want slurping and burping shirts, sugar bridges. <laughs> That's like the after show. So there's flipping and sipping, and then the after show should be slurping and burping. So yeah, we've got to get we got to get caught up in the algorithm somehow. Yeah, we're gonna do better because we, I've got videos scheduled now. We've got to have you guys come and comment and stuff on the videos. Mm -hmm. The lives don't get you in the algorithm very much. The lives are super fun. Don't say algorithm, but they don't really get you in the flow with the regular videos. Correct. <laughs> okay, friends, are you ready to sign off and say goodbye? I guess if we have to. If we have to. I miss is Georgia. I miss Georgia's dance party. I know. I thought that was fun. Me so too. you know we might have to think about that. I know I'm telling you. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you all have an awesome weekend. Do something fun. Go out and enjoy the sunshine or the rain or wherever you're at. <laughs> hope that you have a great time doing that. Um, give us a like on this video. Make sure you come back and name the video. It's going to be fun. Next week, maybe we'll do flipping and sipping. Maybe we won't. But check out our video on Tuesday. Anything, any last words? I think that's it. Okay, guys, make sure you stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.